literally use this or it's my ah! one thing about my audio i have to tell you guys is that i honestly do not know what's wrong with the audio but it is giving this sort of sound and i took it back to the person that sold it to me he said that maybe there's something in this room that is actually i don't know i don't know how to like say but the wave is is connecting to something else i don't know and when i turn on my ac it get worse now i can't turn on my ac when i'm filming which is quite sad this doesn't happen it hasn't it hasn't happened before but it happened recently and i don't know what to do so until i remove the thing that is inside this room that's making it connect like the wave is just contract i don't know the grammar but yeah hey welcome back to my youtube channel it is a girl with black chick and we are back with another bomb bell clock video in the building well it's supposed to be a bomb clock video in the building anyways thank you guys so much for joining me today so i actually just want to like relax i decided to like do something for my youtube channel i'm like let's get glammed okay but this time i am using the products that i got recently okay uh so i have like few of them here we're just going to like you know get ready like glam up you know using these new products i'm not really gonna be reviewing reviewing it say but i'll tell you how i feel and how it feels on my skin as well so now that we've got that out of the way if you want to see what we are up to today please like this video if you enjoy watching it and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already all right So now that I'm zoomed into your conscience, if you don't mind me. So I already got my brows done because you guys have seen me do my brows a couple of times here. I used my normal Davis Eye Pencil, cleaned it up with my ZKL Second Skin Concealer in the shade Nude. And for the this part of the brow, this part of my brows, I used my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. This concealer is actually bomb. Do you know why? I like how it feels. It's just that it's just sad that it is not my shade. Do you get me? Yeah. I'm hoping to like get another shade of this HD concealer. Alright. So I literally do not know what I'm gonna be doing today, but guys, I'm thinking of doing like something brown, like something chocolatey. I don't know. But that's how I feel today. I do not know why. But yeah, so if I'm gonna do something like that, I am gonna start priming my eyes. So we're gonna go into the lipstick now. So guys, I'm gonna be going into my Blossom African Blossom Makeup African Queen palette. This one here, and I'll be going into this shade. It's like the darkest shade here, guys. It's called For Me, and it's like the darkest shade there. This all over where I have the lipstick on. Hey guys, so I'm doing this audio just so that, cause the audio, I mean the original audio from this video is just so bad. I decided to do like an audio for you. So guys, I'm placing the brown shade I got from this um, Blossom Makeup Palette on the place I put the lipstick on. Then I went in with the lighter shade of brown for my crease. Then I went back into the darker shade just to like intensify the shade more. Now I'm going into a, like a very light brown shade. That's like a warm, warm tone just to diffuse the crease area just to make it look subtle like I'm doing right now so I'm going back again into the dark shade just to, like intensify and make sure that everything is looking blended on over there so I'm doing the same thing on the other eye literally what I did on the on the first eye I'm doing the same thing on this eye so the 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 brush I use for applying the lipstick is the Vica Bell um, brush I don't remember what number it is but that brush is actually the perfect one to use to apply your lipstick but if you have like a dense flat brush you can actually use that too um, literally this is what this video is all about then I went in um, instead of using like a dark shot um, dark um, liner I opted for a brown liner. I used the same lipstick I used for my lead I used it as a liner just like 
um, to make sure that my lash glue or my lash has something to adhere to when I'm applying my lashes but literally this is what this look is all about um, yeah so I'm going into my blossom makeup serum which is a lavender repair serum I'm using that first for my base and I went into my Hega and Esther primer I mean you guys would see how it goes from here I'm gonna go into this Hega and Esther skin filter primer this is what it looks like I've actually used it before but I didn't like pay like full attention to it today I was using it okay so but today we are gonna be testing this out all right so I'm just gonna apply just a tad bit over here and see how you wears out okay so it kind of talking about the blur effect it gives you that like see so this is my face without the primer and this is my face with the primer what do you think good yeah But I think it's best to use your hands to apply this instead of like using brush to apply this. I don't know, but I feel like your hand would actually work best compared to when you use your brush. So I like how my face is feeling at the moment. Okay, now for foundation, I'm going into my Royal Makeup Stay Matte Foundation. You can see how much it's left there. Shows how much I've been using this foundation. When something is good, you wouldn't want to stop using it. foundation is actually gripping onto the primer and then the fact that this foundation as well is a matte foundation full coverage foundation it's actually a plus see why i say this foundation is just a perfect foundation for me like i love this foundation so much so the next product i'm going to be reviewing is the beauty line by dd beauty blender so this is what it's looking like the beauty line by dd beauty blender so i put it in the water and i made it damp so it has this um this shaped thing over here and the rest of the beauty blender is just round and the emblem as well which is the beauty line by dd emblem so we're going to be trying this out today and see how well this works with product on it we're going to start off with this part of the eye and start blending it So I like how soft this beauty blender is. It's actually not bad. So this is what we're looking like after blending it. And it actually didn't take out much, much product. It, it really didn't take out much product compared to the way I was expecting it to like you can see like there's not much product on the stuff I don't know if you guys have noticed this but I've been loving the whole lipstick liquid lipstick underpainting thing so for my contour I'm gonna be using the adventure blend pro concealer I've been using this contour shade for the longest of time and it's been so good like it's so pigmented I don't even know what word to use for it but this contour shade this concealer is just the absolute best
Do you guys remember those days where baking is like the main thing? How did we get past that? How? Like how? Like if you're not baking your face, you're not doing your makeup. Oh. Like now, the only reason people bake now is just to like put like a few powder on their face, just so don't, just so they don't get fall out. So for contour, so I'm going to go into this powder here, it's the HD Compact Powder in the shade 07B, that's it. I literally use this as my, ah! <laughs> it almost fell, I literally use this as my contour slash bronzer, you see the warmth it gives my skin, can you see that? now for blush this is actually optional i don't have to if i don't want to because i already applied the blush already but i'm just gonna like put like a tad bit over here okay now we're back to our eyes i'm gonna start off with this um eyeliner pencil I got this from Doopy Doopy it's a very black eyeliner it's a very black dark eye pencil so I was scared that this actually wasn't gonna like come out the way I was expecting it like I mean it's not you can't compare it to the Mabrook eye pencil but this is actually better I like the formula of the eye pencil. It's actually soft and it pay, the payoff is mad, okay? I actually didn't know that I had this shade here in this palette. Moving on, I'm gonna use that for my under eye, okay? Cause I actually want it like really, really dark and like, smoky. the difference when you apply eyeshadow under your eyes and the difference when you don't apply eyeshadow under your eyes like this huge difference for lipstick I'm thinking of like going into this thunder I don't know but let's try and see So guys you see how it's looking so for my lashes i'm gonna be going into this wispies lashes this is in the style wlt62 okay i'm gonna pop this on and i'll be right back guys this lashes is just so amazing look at how it's looking can you see that damn so this is actually gonna be like one of my favorite lashes amongst my lashes okay now moving on, we're going into our glow kit right now. This is from ZKL. This is a ZKL glow kit bronzer and highlighter palette, okay? So since we're actually going for something soft, we're just going to go into this golden bronze here. Just this one here. Remember this palette, this highlight is really, really pigmented. So you just have to be careful. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna quickly powder my face. So this is what we're looking like so far. Um, I'm liking how it's looking right now. I love how my face feels. I love how 
my eyeshadow is looking i love how my lipstick is looking i love how everything is looking like it's looking so fine so we're gonna start off with the primer which is the hega and esther skin filter primer fam this primer is just the bomb okay it is actually nice it grips i don't know i don't know how to explain it but when your foundation comes upon the primer it kind of grips on it and it stays there do you get what i'm trying to say so yeah that's about the primer now next thing what did we use again um the beauty blender is really really nice okay i use this to apply my concealer and as well used it to set my powder on my face okay so now about this mascara here yeah, this is the lash obsessed ma mascara from zikel okay this actually it lengthens your mascara and it adds volume to it okay i mean i use it for my under eye and i could literally just say that this let me come closer you see can you see can you see what my under eye is looking like can you see that right can you see this can you see this so that's what i'm talking about the mascara the mascara is just so amazing okay now moving on to the next stuff this one is just so bomb like I said earlier, if you're not careful, you're going to be looking like you entered into like a bag of oil or something. But yeah, now for this lashes, like I said, this lash is now part of my favorite lashes because this lash gives me so much life. Look at that. Like it's so fine. Can you see that? It is so fine. I like how I like how I'm looking right now, fam. Like this is just so gorgeous. Let me know what you think about this look in the comment section down below. And as well, which was which was actually the favorite part of this whole makeup look for you. Which was the favorite part for you? Which did you enjoy most? Okay. And suggest so down below what kind of makeup um, products or what kind of content you like for me to put up um, on my YouTube channel. Okay. Like this video if you enjoy watching it, and of course. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on my next one.